Vad händer? Lord Vader. Where is Weird Al? Uh, he, he's not here. He must be at the stage. Probably. Have you seen these employees? No. So how did you start making your own versions of famous songs? You know, I've been doing the, the parodies and the comedy music since I was just a, a really young kid. I think every eight-year-old boy in the world makes fun of the songs you hear on the radio and change the words around and try to make their friends laugh, and, and that was me. Um, and it's just sort of a phase that I've never grown out of. I'm still doing it, and uh, I've, hopefully I'm better now than I was when I was eight years old. I've been practicing. How was your relationship with Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson was wonderful, I, and I have to give him a lot of credit because uh, he gave me permission uh, very early on in my career. Back when uh, some other artists were sort of waffling, like, I don't know about this Weird Al guy, I'm not sure if I should let him do these parody things, and then Michael Jackson gave his blessing, and all of a sudden it's like, well, if Michael Jackson thinks this guy's okay, I guess he's all right. Weird Al var den där som påminner mig att det är okej att saker är löjligt ibland, det är okej att skratta åt saker. Så länge du gör det liksom så länge det kommer härifrån. Så för mig Weird Al betyder ganska mycket. Så första konsert, jag får inte missa det. Jag hade aldrig missat det. get permission when I do the parodies. A lot of people wonder like, you know, how do they let you get away with this? And I, I, I always contact the original artist, whether I need to legally or not. It's sort of a gray area and I can get away with not asking, but you know, I think one of the reasons I've been able to be in this business as long as I have is I don't burn bridges and I want to make sure that I respect the artist's feelings. And thankfully these days most artists are actually um, uh, happy to have the parody. It's, it's sort of like a rite of passage for them these days. Uh, and when I run into them afterwards at an award show or some kind of social gathering, uh, I Get, get some very nice compliments. Um, a chameleonaire who uh, did the original song uh, Riding that I did White and Nerdy based on, uh, he came up to me at the Grammys and he said, I just won a Grammy for Rap Song of the Year for Riding, and I think a big reason that I won was because of your parody, because your parody made it undeniable that, that my song was the Rap cool. Song of the Year. Yeah. This is mowing my front lawn. I know they're all thinking I'm so wide and nerdy. It's too wide and nerdy. It's too wide and nerdy. När jag såg listan, det var den vill jag se, den vill jag se. Så den, weird Al! Liksom, det var så här, wow! Tänker på liksom Elvis som aldrig kom till Europa annars än som soldat. Va? Weird Al i Europa spelar på Hammersmith. Och i Sverige spelar han på Gröna Lund. Va? Hur kan det bli bättre? Varför är, är han så intressant? Det är för att han är en liksom, skrattspegel som ni har här på Gröna av liksom populärkulturen. Och man kan ju tycka att han går lite en fin linje mellan buskis och det rent geniala, tycker mm. jag. Var kommer ni ifrån? Umeå. Det är sant. Ja. Har du åkt från Umeå för att kolla Weird Al? Jajamän. Men vad har ni för förväntningar på kvällen då? Ja, 
Alltså, vi måste ju få höra Amish Paradise. Det är det ett måste för att kvällen ska bli lyckad. So don't be vain and don't be whiny Clear off my brother, I'm not time to get medieval on your hiney We've been spending most our lives living in an Amish paradise We're all crazy men and I living in an Amish paradise There's no count for traffic lights living in an Amish paradise But you'd probably think it bikes living in So if you were able to bring back one of the legends uh, to play with you tonight, who would that be? Uh, the Beatles. The Beatles. I, I saw they played here in 1962. Yeah. They played in the room where we had a lunch and dinner yeah. today. Yeah. Like a little tiny room. And if, I, I heard the whole story like the, the band that, that was playing on the same stage with them, they wouldn't, they said, you can't set up all your stuff here. You can let Dr Ringo set up his drum set. You other guys put your guitars and your amps over here. Yeah. <laughs> like, and it was amazing. You know, and so I, I felt sort of like just just honored to just kind of be eating my my lunch in the same room where the Beatles were like jamming. So yeah, I'd like to, like to bring them back. That'd be fun. Just won't cry.